Good afternoon, Superintendent Soto, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Mahoney, Principal McKenna, faculty and staff, families and friends. My name is Patrick Sweeney, and I am the co-salutatorian of the Hoyoke High School class of 2023. When thinking about writing a speech for today, my thoughts go directly to the ad my parents placed in the 2023 yearbook. In it, they said, life is full of the unexpected. This is quite pertinent to the situation I find myself in today. More than a month after graduation, I never expected to have the opportunity to speak in front of the most important people in my life as co-salutatorian. Johnny Resnick, the lead singer of the band The Goo Goo Dolls, was once asked in an interview do you believe everything happens for a reason, or do you think there are coincidences? He replied that someone told him, coincidences are God's way of remaining anonymous. I had always wanted to address my peers, faculty, and staff at HHS, but graduation would have been too intimidating and overwhelming of a platform to deliver the message I wanted to convey. Coincidentally, I now find myself in a perfect situation. I look at the small error and find that it is truly a gift. Today, I have been given the opportunity to gather with the most important people in my life. Today, you are not my fellow students, teachers, or administrators. Instead, you have become my friends. I am so thankful to have had the opportunity to attend Hoyoke High School. Because of all of you in this room, I have become a better person. Each one of you has taught me something, not only in the classroom. Teachers, staff, and administrators have taught me to never stop following my dream of becoming a journalist. To enjoy the last few months of high school, because they only come once in a lifetime. To be open to new ideas and learning new concepts, even if they are out of your comfort zone. And to be resilient, even when life punches you in the face sometimes. Thank you, Superintendent Soto. <laughs> Students have taught me that family is as complex and diverse as the Hoyokai student body itself that everyone has their own challenge, whether we know it or not, or can see it or not. That the students of Hoyoke High School are the most kind, respectful, and non-judgmental people that I've ever had the pleasure to encounter. And that I should always check the NBA scores to ensure that classroom conversations do not go over my head. <laughs> Throughout my four years at Hoyoke High School, I felt an overwhelming sense of kindness from the faculty and students. Teachers and administrators were never afraid to give me extra support if I was confused about a topic. Also, I witnessed students lending a helping hand to others and cheering them up during a bad day. In the evening after we graduated on June 4th, I found myself sitting on our living room couch reflecting on my high school experience. Thinking about the wonderful people I met at HHS made me become emotional. When my mom asked me how I was feeling, the only comment I could audibly make was, I felt like I have been just let go from a four-year-long hug. Everyone at the school was so kind, and I'm going to miss them terribly. Hoyoke High School truly embodies kindness in every aspect, which is one of the many reasons that made my experience so wonderful. As an anonymous individual once said, being kind to one person may not change the whole world. It could change the world for that one person. My family firmly believes in inclusion and respect for everyone. My parents wanted me to go to a school where I could experience diversity. When I was little, my mom said to me, how would you like it if you came out of school and everyone looked like mommy and could bake cookies? How would you find me in the parking lot? That would be a problem. <laughs> my parents always knew that I would become a Hoyokai Knight. Coming from a school with 12 students in my eighth grade graduating class, HHS seemed overwhelming to me. How would I make it through four years? How would I find my classes, the cafeteria, and most importantly, the bathrooms? And would they be unlocked? <laughs> From the first time I set foot in HHS, my goal was not to be ranked a certain number within the class. I wanted to learn, make new friends, and experience new things. Throughout my four years, I tried to take advantage of the numerous opportunities that the school offers. For example, Joining the Herald was personal to me because my mom taught me to write at a young age, strengthening my love for the skill. Hosting the Hoyoke mayoral candidates on a podcast was extremely important to me, 
as I wanted the city to make informed decisions on election day. For years, my parents have taught me to try new things because, in their words, you never know when you will find a new passion. I used this wisdom to my advantage at HHS by taking classes that were out of my comfort zone. Enrolling in graphic design and digital art courses helped me realize that I might be interested in pursuing the topic at a college level. It was my time in Mr. Graney's Drawing and Painting One class, however, that completely shocked me. When I graduated from eighth grade, I received an art award from the school. I downplayed the achievement, insisting that I was not talented as an artist. However, when Drawing and Painting One came up as an option in the spring of senior year, my mom encouraged me to enroll. Agreeing to take the class was one of the best decisions I have ever made. I learned so much to the point that I have been creating original artwork throughout summer vacation. My time in art class is a strong reminder that people should keep their eyes open to new experiences. Oftentimes, people find new passions by experimenting or trying their hand at something out of their comfort zones. Because of these examples, I can firmly say that I got everything out of my time at Hoyoke High School. I would like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for being the most supportive parents ever. From the first day of kindergarten to the last day of high school, they have always had my back. My mom has spent countless hours helping me review material for my classes and developing tips to help me succeed. She began reading books to me at a young age. After we got up in the morning and ate breakfast, she would say to me, bring mommy a stack of books you would like to read. I will admit that the number of books I wanted to bring was often more than I could carry. When I was in elementary school, she spent the summers teaching me my multiplication and division facts, how to write in cursive, and how to write an essay. My mom is the reason why I was able to take advanced math classes, successfully write timed AP essays in cursive, and become the editor-in-chief of the Herald. I would also like to thank my dad for all of his help. Towards the end of my career at Mata de la Rosa School, the teachers gave us weekly vocabulary tests from a book called Vocabulary Workshop. Every week, my dad and I would sit in our den and he would review all of the activities from the book with me. My dad never missed an event at MD or Hoyoke High School, always rearranging his work schedule to ensure he could attend. Before the pandemic, my dad traveled to Windsor, Connecticut for work. He would drive to work in the morning, come back to Hoyoke for my event, go back to work again, and then drive home once his work day was over which was over 120 miles in one day. Without the help and support of my parents, I would not be the person I am today. Thank you both again for all of your hard work. A few weeks after graduation, I was given a book from Dr. Mahoney titled, Wait, What? by James E. Ryan. The last question posed by the author, taken from the poem Late Fragment by Raymond Carver, was, and did you get what you wanted from this life, even so? Ryan reflected on this question, saying, The even so perfectly captures the reality that pain and disappointment are inevitably a part of a full life, but also the hope that life, even so, offers the possibility of joy and contentment. I put a spin on this question and asked myself, Did you get what you wanted from this school, even so? The question made me ask myself if the error would erase or cloud my thoughts of my Hoyoke High School experience. The answer is a resounding no. Standing here today as the co-salutatorian of the class of 2023 is the final gift that Hoyoke High School has given me. And for that, I will be forever grateful.